So welcome everybody to my painting tutorial. I'm Erin, as per the name Erin Bum Paints. Hi, hello, welcome. Uh, today, in case you've never been before, the idea is that I'll teach you step by step how to paint this beautiful painting, which you probably saw um, a number of places, maybe on Instagram, as I post these to Instagram, I post them to Facebook, for example, Discord, uh, lots of different spots. But this is the painting I'll be instructing step by step. Uh, so this is the, the design. If you'd like to take a photo of it or a screenshot, feel free to do that now I'll leave it up for another minute or two uh, but after that I'll actually be replacing this canvas with a blank canvas because I'll paint it with you step by step so you can see how it's all done one thing at a time uh, so yeah take your screenshots now or again you can head to Instagram head to Facebook uh, the design is there thank you for those lovely social links there easy to click uh, in terms of the supplies needed today, again, if you use uh, the command exclamation point supplies in chat, so if you type exclamation point supplies, you can see all the supplies I use just in detail, um, but very quickly. Uh, the colors I use, we only stick to three colors today, very basic today. We have black, white, and red. If you'd like to change that up, you're more than welcome to, but just for the poppy and noir aesthetic, we just have the three today. And then in terms of paint brushes, let me grab them for you. Some of them are watery because I spilled my water earlier. <laughs> we have a large flat brush, we have a medium round brush, and we have a small round brush. And just any combination of those is fine. If you have a large, medium, small of any kind, that should be fine. You don't need the exact things at all. So just so you know that. Uh, otherwise, I hope you have an apron on. Shout out Terry for the apron, thank you. Uh, or just something that you don't mind getting paint on. I also have a cup of paint water. Uh, and a towel would be good or paper towel, anything like that. And uh, those are pretty much all the, all the things we need. So I'm doing a uh, landscape oriented. So I'm using a 16 by 20 canvas horizontally. Okay, so just so you know that. And uh, what I'll be doing at the start is the background. So I'm already gonna bring this back up to show you. Uh, my background, although it is subtle, there is a little bit going on in the background. What I did is I started with just plain white, wiping back and forth, and I did a slight gradient down into a very light gray. You can kind of see it in here. It's kind of like a misty, cloudy background. I didn't do horizontal strokes very smooth back and forth. I did kind of a curve, curve motion with some lighter grays, and then I got a little bit darker and a little bit darker. Again, it's very subtle just because we have so many layers of poppies on top, but important to do just so you get a little bit of a gradient in the background. So we're starting with that. So you can start your uh, start by grabbing your large flat brush. Do, 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 do. Dip in your cup of water. And I'm gonna start with just plain white paint. Twas the good start of my evening of castle building. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with having a tree as a friend. Good Bob quote. Okay. All right, so I'm starting with plain white paint. So again, haven't mixed it with anything. And I'm just going to start by putting that, I would say in the first third of the canvas, first third-ish. So covering the whole thing with white paint, a large flat brush, just moving back and forth. We don't need to worry about kind of the direction of the brush right now. I'm just going left and right. We'll do kind of the cloudy look a little bit later. For now, it's more so just wetting the canvas, getting some paint on here, covering that white canvas with some white paint. Tina, hello, welcome in. Are you painting along today or just checking us out? How's it going? Uh, as you do this, you're welcome to put your brush into the water just to help the white paint spread a little bit. Just because we are, again, just trying to kind of wet the canvas and get a quick little layer on here. Slap some paint on it, exactly. That's a nice terminology that I use. Slap the paint on there, just slap it on. Oh. I did a little too much slapping. I don't know if that turned up on camera, but nice big blob of white just uh, flung onto my desk. That's what happens. It's a mess in here, let me tell ya. Do I hear sirens? What did I do? They're after me, Todd. They're after me for painting too much. Illegal, illegal. <laughs> I didn't realize you could hear that. <laughs> Windows open from earlier. Kay is here and just popping in. Okay, no worries. Pop in as you like. Nice to see you. We're doing some poppies today. <laughs> Popping in for, okay. <laughs> All right. 
And you know, some people ask, why are you putting white paint on a white canvas? Fair question. Um, I do it for specifically for this painting. It's because we want it to blend into the gray, which will be the second second step here. Um, but traditionally, I find that people like to have the whole canvas covered in paint, even if it is just white paint. So then that way you're not seeing like the texture of the canvas versus the smoothness of the paint after it dries. So even if you're not really doing anything with the white, I find it's good just to cover things in white uh, to make sure again, there's no exposed canvas in the end. Mm -hmm. Dog to your hearing is also dog to your smell. Oh, oh man. Dog to your hearing. I'm gonna have to close my window. It is funny. I thought you were uh, <laughs> we're trying to make a joke there. Hamina, get out of here. Alerts are off because of the tutorial, but I see what's going on in chat there. Gifting a sub to Tina. Dang, thank you. My gosh. Tina, Hambino just gifted you a sub, a subscription to the channel. If you don't know what that means, that means on your behalf, they have supported me, literally financially, gave me a little bit of money for the month. Uh, and in return uh, for you, you get ad-free viewing, you get to use some of my little custom emotes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So thank you, Hambina, thank you. All good, keep the tutorial going. Oh, I need to say thank you, my goodness. You did it, Aaron. I'm proud of you <laughs> getting arrested. Not paying tonight, but we'll do tomorrow. No worries, Tina. Again, you're just gifted a subscription though, so that's nice. You can enjoy that another time. Illegal to be so wholesome. Oh, I'm a sock now. Do it because Bob Ross does. It's simple. Did it because Bob Ross did it. It's simple. Oh, thanks, Ambina. I do really appreciate it. Ow, it's too kind. Ow, I hurt my ankle. <laughs> my ankles are weak. I'm sitting cross-legged and I hit it the wrong way. Oh my gosh. Okay. My, my canvas has white paint on it. It's still a little wet, which is good. Uh, now I'm gonna move on to the light gray. Oh, that really hurt. <laughs> like cracked. So again, see the light gray it kind of like puffs up. It's kind of foggy or smoky. That's what we're going to do next. So I'm just using the uh, large flat brush for that. You can go to your plate, your palette, whatever you're using. You can grab a teeny amount of black. and mix it into your white paint on your plate or on your palette. So we're making a very, very, very subtle light gray. Again, I wanna show you how subtle it is. I'm sure you barely saw it before I pointed it out, just like those little streaky, smoky bits. So the tiniest dab of black into a large pile of white. Oh no, ouch, rip ankle, I know. I swear it's just problematic because I broke it at one point. Not the ankle, I broke a leg bone. I'll explain that in a second. Ever since then it like, <laughs> it's silly. I shouldn't be hurting by cro being cross-legged here. Anyway. Okay, so we got a super, super light gray. It's on my brush. And I'm just gonna start doing these. You can see these kind of like curves, arch, arch shapes. Kind of like bringing it up the canvas. So I am overlapping the white a little bit because that way it blends in a little bit, kind of softens it up. Going all the way across. And I'm going to start bringing it down as well. Bringing it down. Do, 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 do. Always full of surprises. Green face, pumpkin paint, slathering charity, or bone cracking. Potential twisted broken ankles. Just kidding. So again, I'm bringing this down. I'm bringing this down. I would say about two thirds of the way down. Yeah, when I was really young, age reveal, <laughs> when I was younger, I broke my leg, but it was technically very close to my ankle. I think it was the uh, tibia. Oh no. Are my parents here? <laughs> Help me. Anyway, ever since then, I feel like just little tinges happening. Little tinges. Again, I'm sitting cross-legged right now and I'm kind of on top of my ankle. It just went, you know, just uh, just cracks. <laughs> it's never really fully repaired, I think. Has anyone else broken a bone and has that problem? It's just always kind of like feeling, not always sprained, but like just, just again, hitting it the wrong way just like sets it off. It's very frustrating. It's very painful too. <laughs> it really caught me by surprise there. 
So again, same gray. It's looking a little bit darker simply because I'm not blending it into white anymore, right? The white was kind of further up. Now it's just the plain gray that I was using. But yeah, I broke it in gym class playing floor hockey. That was embarrassing. Literally just slipped the wrong way. That's it. That's all. Nothing exciting. Just slipped on it the wrong way, broke it. Mm-hmm. Okay, so subtle, but it's a pretty gray. Yeah, <laughs> a pretty gray. Fan of grays. Peach Lily, thanks very much for the follow. Aaron broke her leg by doing a sip, <laughs> sick kick flip and not sticking the landing. Got it. I just gave you the lore and it's not that. It's it's way less exciting. Oopsie. So I put a little bit extra black on there by accident. Just blend it in. You can see it's okay if it's a little streaky here and there too. It kind of adds. So just blend it on if you need to. Grab more white if you need to help kind of blend it in more. It'll disappear a little bit. I kind of like it because it makes it look like there's layers of clouds, layers of fog, you know? Don't know what this is. Uh, so Tina, so he, uh, Hambina gifted you a sub, a subscription. So that means Hambina supported me financially on your behalf. So rather than just financially supporting me, they said, hmm, I'm going to do it on Tina's behalf. So they gifted you a subscription. So it supported me financially. And because it was done in your name, you get to have ad free viewing. So if when you first clicked on here, maybe you watched like a quick 15 to 30 second ad, you'll no longer get that for the next month. You have a little bun by your name. See that little bun? like Aaron Bun Paints, hee <laughs> hee. It just means you're supporting me. Again, him being a supporter me on your behalf. And you get to use those buns in chat. So they're kind of like little emojis or emoticons. They're just fun custom things that I've made for the channel and you now have access to them due to, due to the subscription. Yo, Nessa, yo, what's up, yo. Hello, little wolf, long time no see. Never broken a bone, lucky you. Howdy, I broke my ankle two years ago and it aches. There you go, see, I'm not the only one. I'm not the only one. It doesn't really ache though. Yeah, I'm sorry, Kays, that it does for you, but I would say mine doesn't ache. It just like, again, I'm twisting it right now and it's going, ouch, it's screaming at me. It'll never, never heal, I think. Moan and your foot broke falling in a mud puddle. Oh no, and landing on your foot. Oh, that's similar to me then, just like twisting it the wrong way. Bunch in my foot, they throb when the weather changes. Oh, that's interesting. Wow. Okay, we all have this issue. I injured my knee when it was uh, se seven. Very bloody. Ouch. I have a scar and it still hurts. Ouch. Yes to the pain never goes away. Oh, <laughs> we're all suffering together with our little broken bones. <laughs> Oopsie daisy. <laughs> Again, it's, all, it's really not that bad. It's just when I hit it the wrong way or twist it the wrong way. Oh my goodness. Oh, look at that. Lakeside Dudes is gifting a subscription. I just talked about gifting. Lakeside Dude just gifted to uh, Christy. Christy, you're a bun now. You got gifted a, uh, a subscription from Lakeside Dudes. They're right here if you want to thank them. Hello. Look at that. Yeah, you're welcome, Tina. Uh, we'll hold a... Uh, will you hold up your brush? I'm literally in Michael's shopping. Here you go. This is a Princeton. It's part of the Princeton value set. I don't know if I've ever found it in Michael's, but I have this one. It comes in a pack of five and I really only use the three. There you go. Different upside broken bones. I just found a recipe for cranberry ooey butter bars. Ooh, butter bars. Oh, <laughs> kind of sounds yummy other than the butter, hee <laughs> hee. Got stitches a few times. Oh yeah, good at not breaking bones, good at avoiding slicing my fingers open. Oh, okay, all that cooking. Hope that helped, uh, Nessa. If you need more information, I have um, the exact name if you need. Mm-hmm, hi, bye, bye. This is Amelia, hello. Hello, Amelia, welcome in. Are you painting today? Meaty Mitts, that's a fun name. Enjoy, not butter sticks, Aaron. You don't like butter and things? Okay, well, <laughs> if they're not butter sticks, that's fine. I don't mind butter in things as long as it's not like a butter bar. It just sounds too buttery. Sweet, thank you. You're welcome, Nessa. One time was cooking. Oh, really? Use all five plus a bunch of others for every painting. There you go. Yeah, it comes with a filbert and a medium flat brush. I just don't tend to use them. Anna does though, so that's good. All right, I'm just gonna do the next step and I'll keep catching up on chat here. So next step, uh, final step for the background, actually, we're just adding, if you haven't guessed, just a slightly darker gray, slightly darker. Um, so I'm just taking my brush again, the same large flat brush, mixing a tiny bit more black into the gray that I already have. I would still say this is a lighter gray. It's still not very dark. You can see in the background, it doesn't get very dark at all, even behind all of these dark little stems here. So just a little extra black. And we're just doing the same thing kind of on the bottom now, kind of working our way up, 
Same idea, I like to do these motions like this to make it kind of foggy or smoky. Kind of blending it on top of the previous gray and then working our way down. So you can just keep doing that all the way down now. What is the name, Erin, of your brushes? Want to ask for some nice brushes for Christmas? Yeah, uh, the Princeton value set. I'm just going to see if they're in the supplies command. Hold on. Because I think they might be. Okay. Um, yeah, brushes. So large, flat. Ooh, I didn't put Princeton. Large, flat, 12. The size is 12. Medium, round, 6. Small, round, 1. Uh, and those are part of the Princeton value set uh value brush set i think if you need a direct link let me know that was i gotta move up i gotta move up i gotta move up chat zoom in and stuff k's yeah k's if you need more info if you need a direct link i have found them on amazon before and i'm happy to give you a direct link all right just brushing away move them away down move them away down boop, 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 boop. Gonna move back up again. Hold on, hello. <laughs> Only one time from cooking. Lumpy, a coworker turned a corner, got surprised if someone else could swish. I'll <laughs> fell and broke it. So I'm not the only one for breaking an ankle just for landing the wrong way. That's really nice to know. Breaking a leg was me. Shattered so bad out for eight months. Oh my gosh. I wasn't out for that long. It was right before Christmas time though. That sucked. <laughs> Relearn, oh boy. Amelia, you found the little emotes. Howdy, Wood, what's up? <coughs> one time was from wood carving, one time was from cutting cardboard, one time from his opening container of onion rings with a box cutter, what? What kind of onion rings need a box cutter to open them? <laughs> oh, what a burger, that's probably it. I got stitches one of those times, the other times were stitch substitutes, I see. So unfortunate, yup. CJ, welcome in. All the hellos. Butterfly strips are adhesive. Oh, the ones that dissolve, maybe? You ever get glue? I got glue at one point. Glued my head back together. <laughs> I'm gonna concentrate on this for a quick sec, then I'll catch up on chat. Just getting that background on. Uh, you can also carry the gray around the edge now that we have a little bit of color on here. You can start to move it around the side if you want, just to kind of continue the painting all the way around. Still trying to do those curves, though, for the nice cloudy look. Again, a lot of this is getting covered up. You won't see a lot of it, but still nice just to make sure all of the canvas ends up getting covered. Now, yeah, no worries, Kay's anytime. Nice top job, I'm sure. Oh, thank you, Anna. So Anna actually went to the Discord and shared a link there if anyone needs to have a link. I assume to the brushes, right, Anna? Thank you very much. Orange zest in the crust. Yum. Amazon. Yeah, also available from Curry's. Exactly, exactly. Keep talking about food. Y'all will stop talking about stitches. <laughs> you're trying, you're trying, Cindy. Almost there, everybody. <laughs> I hear you, Cindy. <laughs> In high school park without broken foot. Ouch! Yeah, otherwise I've been pretty lucky. I've only had the broken bone once. Once. There it goes. Looking at the screen there. Cool. Again, nothing like super smooth or perfect. I actually like it kind of streaky, cloudy. So it's up to you how much you want to smooth it out. I'll give another minute or two in case anyone's still adding. And then we're just going to go right along to adding some stems. Check for it. Perfect. Hello, that was Amelia, right? Meaty mints? Let me know if I'm mixing that up. Who just did that for me, Erin? That was Lakeside Dudes. Lakeside Dudes. See the little bun by your name, Christy? Yeah, it means you're a subscriber now. Corner of box ring box fell on my toe while my husband and I carried upstairs. Ah! My toe is throbbing just thinking about it. I hate toe stubs of any kind like that. Oh my gosh. I have a question. Oh, interesting. I think she uses patterns, but I'll let her answer. Yes, hello, CJ. Hello. All right, another minute or so, minute or so. Show you the painting again. I'll cover my, my face up to show you. So we're going to do some little stems next. 
cracker dough. Ouch, ouch, ouch. It just hurts thinking about it. Ouch. Yeah, my, mine are all curled up. Exactly, Groki. They're like kind of in pain and also just like curled right up. Curled right up. Okay, I assume that's enough time there. We just have the whites, the light grays, the medium grays on here. All the beautiful, beautiful grays. So now what we're gonna do, let's have a look-see. There we go. So we're gonna be doing lots and lots of layers of stems now. So again, this is a nice point where I'm gonna teach a couple things. You can just relax and keep adding and keep adding and keep adding. Um, I would say I did three different layers of gray here. So you can see the light gray, light to medium gray. Let's call it a medium gray because we had light grays in the background. Let's call these medium gray tones. Uh, these kind of like curly stems here, the nice tall stems are all kind of this medium gray tone, very thin, just going from bottom to top or top to bottom. Either one works in terms of applying the paint. We'll do a second tone of gray that's a little bit darker. Those are more the medium size ones. You can kind of see them ending around here. And then we have some much darker ones, still not really black or anything. I would call them just a dark gray, definitely not plain black. And those are kind of filling up the bottom just to make it look a lot more full down here. Just doing some quick little stems, maybe a couple bigger ones that are darker, but for the most part, just filling up the bottom. Uh, you can use a variety of brushes for these. Uh, for the first layer, I actually prefer to use a medium round brush. Traditionally, when I'm doing thin lines, I actually like to use the big, large flat brush, but just for the uh, first layer, because they're all kind of curly, not all of them, but some of them are curly, um, I find it a lot easier to use this medium round brush rather than the large flat brush. I find it hard to kind of curve that one quickly. It gets a little bit messed up. All the bristles start to move around a little bit funny. So medium round, medium round for the start for me. But again, use whatever you think. I'll catch up on the chat in a second. So once again, I'm just taking new brush, medium uh, round brush, mixing together a gray that's just slightly darker, slightly darker than anything I have on here. So just grab a teeny bit of extra black. You can mix it into your existing gray or just make a new gray on your plate as long as it's a little bit darker than your existing gray. <laughs> gray, your ears are just burning right now. Who, me? Me again? So if you're not sure about the shade, just try out one stem, see if it shows up. If it's a little light, just add a little more black. If it's a little dark, you can add more white until you get the shade that you like. Because there are more than 50 shades. Ha ha ha, that joke is sold at this point. Okay, so you can use the tip of the brush. I'm gonna go close to the top, not quite all the way to the top. I don't really reach all the way to the top with any of these, I would say, just close to. Um, and I personally like to, for the curly ones, um, what do I do? No, I start from the bottom and go around. So I'm going to start from the bottom, work my way up. I'm just using a little bit of pressure and doing a quick little curl at the end. So just a quick little curve. Um, I personally like to go from bottom to top because it allows me to use more pressure at the start. And then I kind of release pressure as I go. And that creates a thinner tip right there. So that's what I prefer, but you can definitely do from top to bottom. And I almost did it. I'll just show you right now. You can do the same thing. If you're doing top to bottom, you'll want to start with just a teeny bit of pressure. And then as you come down, you're going to add more pressure to get it a little bit wider on the way down. Then that way it goes from thick to thin up there. Do, 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 do. How do you do that, Erin? How do you do what, Christy? I would say check YouTube, all depends what you're looking for. There you go. That's 18, I slipped while coming out of Tim's. <laughs> That's so Canadian of you. <laughs> Slipped, I assume, on ice. Coming out of Tim's, carrying two XL coffees with hot chocolate and a large hot chocolate sandwich. Spilled and fell. Oh, no. Didn't spill anything, though. Oh, my gosh. Hurt yourself, but saved all the Tim stuff. There you go. A true Canadian. So you'll probably see me switching back and forth. You'll probably see me doing a couple from top to bottom, bottom to top. Whatever you feel. Whatever you feel. You can keep it inconsistent or consistent, doesn't matter. And especially because these are so in the background, if you have any like small inconsistencies, maybe the brush kind of ran out of paint a little bit, maybe here, for example, I try not to worry about it. 
just because they're so far in the background I think it kind of adds if anything that you have these small little gaps it makes everything appear a little bit more thin a little more just like pushed back so I'm not gonna worry but I'm not gonna go and perfect any of these I'm just gonna keep adding instead still the joke proud of you thank you had to do it once had to do it once Fifty Shades joke might feel, but that does not stop them from being funny. You actually like it? I'm so glad. I think everyone rolls their eyes anytime I do that, so that's good. Sandy, good evening! How's it going? Happy berry crochet. Oh, there you go. Perfect. Todd, there you are. First thing out of my mouth, I saved the coffee. Yep. <laughs> I did it. I saved the coffee. Uh, show you what, Christy? Let me know what you're trying to uh, learn about there. And you can mix these up, by the way. You don't have to make them all curly. If you kind of uh, want them just a little more dispersed and not as cluttered, you can do a couple of these just straight ones as well. It's all about just filling up the space however you want. This is just step one of many in terms of adding uh, to the stems here, filling up the space. See how this is maybe a little too light. It kind of blended and I'm just gonna add a tiny bit more black to it now. Make sure I'm keeping the color a little darker than the background. So again, hopefully this is a nice relaxing few steps here. It's really just the same thing over and over, just adding more and more and more. I think it gets better the more you add. So just relax, add as much or as little as you want. Again, I'm only doing the first layer for now. <laughs> Notes. Good, but poor Travis is sick. Oh no, I'm sorry to hear. Oh no. Has he been sick just today or like most of the week or something? Hope he's okay. Hopefully he's relaxing right now. Do not know what people are saying. Oh, um, they're asking about, uh, what did you call it, Todd? You're asking about this guy. What did he call it? Amigurumi. So this is uh, like a crochet. That's what they call like crochet little stuffed. Correct me if I'm wrong, Anna and Todd. Crocheted stuffed little figurines, I would say. That's what Todd was asking about there. That's the one. Am I saying it right? Amigurumi? I'm not sure. That's what they're asking about. Look, check this out. There's a little Bob Ross too. <laughs> so Todd was asking how to learn to do that. Okay, okay, since you guys keep telling, <laughs> I'll read your story in a second. I'm just gonna load up my brush. When I was 24, I slipped in a mud walking a dog around a lake. My leg went under me, foot caught on a root, pulled my leg out, leg was straight in the tire of root. Oh my gosh, Cindy! <laughs> Dangling, ah, don't use that word! <laughs> Not break the- oh, okay! <laughs> the player inside screws- wow, I'm a huge screw goes to my ankle. My goodness! Those are some words in there that I skipped over, Cindy. Ooh, it made me go, ooh! You told your story, though. That's fair. We were all telling our stories. It's fair that you want to tell yours. <laughs> Just certain words in there. I was like, okay! <laughs> oh, man, Cindy. I'm sorry it hasn't been the same since though. It seems like we all have that issue. Been a couple days. I put in bed early so I'm gonna get to sleep. That's good, that's good. Sleep really helps. Sleep in liquids, I'm sure you know. I'm sure you're doing a good job keeping them. Uh, keeping them company and healthy. Oh, you have a couple books, okay. I think I'll do maybe just a couple more of this shade and then we'll start to get into more of a medium shade. Because you can see I'm really concentrating on the top part here. I'm not worried about how filled up it is down here. We'll do that with lots of different gray tones, a little bit darker uh, next. So it's really just how it's looking way up here. Yeah. And again, you can do a couple that are nice and tall if you want, just barely reaching the top or make them reach the top. I'm not your mom, do what you want. Make it go all the way, I don't know. But yeah, for my painting, I didn't make them touch the top. They were all very close. Some of them are very close. I'll do a couple more curlies, I think. Doing for a painting and I'll add something to the shimmer. Yeah. 
Now he's tempted, maybe. I've got some more. I've got some more just waiting to be shipped with other ones. What do you want to make, Todd? Are you asking so you can make one of them? He is so cute. Yeah, he's so cute. Yeah, they love him. Amethyst and chat made those. That's cool. Yeah. Not to tell it for you. Oh, thanks. <laughs> That's considerate, but please, I'm glad you told your story. <laughs> you have a story to tell, you should tell it. The dangling, though, got me. <laughs> it was dangling. Okay, let's just have a look here. Let's do like one or two more. Let's do like one over here. I'm gonna do one more a little lower down. Cause you can still see some of the curls, even if they're not up top, you can maybe still see them like down here. Here and there. Okay, that's fine. I'll give everyone a minute or two if you're still adding that layer and then I'll start to add my next layer. So again, I do three layers. I'm on layer one right now. I should get some uh, Amigurumi books then. Yeah, no kidding. Sounds like me, Cindy. I trip back here. I look down. My right foot was going the wrong way. Ouch. <laughs> I can remember it turned back on itself. Ouch. <laughs> Prom did more damage. I called from back here to house. Oh my gosh. They called 911. Oh no. Oh, banana. Thanks for the follow. I know you've been here before, but thank you very much for following. Again, now you'll be notified when I go online. Wow. Good for you. Kay's crawling back for 911. Wow. Dream. Welcome in. What's up? Let's not talk about it. I'm like, okay, <laughs> we won't. <laughs> Bless, I'm sorry, I know exactly how it feels. I still feel the grinding break 20 years later. Ouch. Wow, yeah. It's sad, but I'm also glad I'm not the only one. It's still in there, still in there. Nick Grid on YouTube. Oh, there you go, lots of them. Back at you. DM me in Discord, I'll probably find you a pattern for whatever you're looking for. No judgments. <laughs> it might be a pattern that doesn't exist, Anna, but we'll see. <laughs> I'll let Todd speak for himself. Allie, I pulled a muscle sneezing. Oh, <laughs> no shame, man. Again, I can't believe I broke my leg just by slipping the wrong way and landing on it wrong. Lipadu, thanks for the follow as well. I know you're in the chat as well. Thank you for following. Why is there a picture beside my name? That's because you were gifted a subscription, Christy. So it's a way to symbolize that uh, you're supporting me. Someone is supporting me on your behalf. You get a little bun. That's a bun there. And it's a plain bun because it's your first month. And as you have more months of supporting me, your bun gets little additions. Pretty sure it exists. Okay, okay. Didn't know, didn't know. Thought it was maybe a concoction you had thought up of. All right, everybody. I'm just going to now add some more of these stems. So I'm going to switch to my large flat brush now. Again, that's, this is personal preference. I'm going to switch to my large flat because I really like it for these thin streaks kind of going up and down. Now that I'm done with my curly ones, I just want to do some thin little stems going up and down. So I'm going to go for the large flat brush for that one. Once again, I'm going back to my plate, just mixing a gray that's slightly darker than the last, only slightly. I would still say this is in the medium gray range. I'm leaving the dark gray for a little bit later. But again, as long as it's just progressing a little bit darker, a little bit darker, that's the main goal here. And also you can water down the paint if you like. I don't usually water it down too much. I just maybe like dip my brush in the water a little bit and that way the paint flows a little bit easier. Sometimes it helps thin it down and make it flow for a nice long streak. So feel free to try that if you feel like paint is running out as you go up and down. Okay, so I'm just gonna use the flat edge of the brush kind of up and down vertically. And for these straight lines, I like to go from bottom to top. I know that. So I'm going to do that and just do these straight or kind of curvy lines coming up or down. I'm going from down to up. You can go up to down if you want. But same idea. I use maybe a little bit extra pressure down here so it looks a tiny bit wider. And then it starts to get thinner, thinner, thinner until the very top there's a nice little point. To get a nice little point, by the way, maybe I'll show you that. I find it helps to kind of use the brush handle and come down with the brush handle. See how I move it down? That way I can kind of flick the bristles at the very end. And that creates a nice little thin tip. That wasn't a great example. Let me try that again. I'll show you from this angle so you can see my handle. Okay, so watch my handle. Going from the bottom here, pulling up. And as I get to the top, I'm moving my handle down so the bristles flick up and off. 
and that creates a nice very thin tip. So again, moving the handle down, bristles flick. I'll do this one again, actually. And you're kind of lifting it off of the canvas as well, just very delicately. So there's a couple tricks for you there in terms of getting some nice thin tips at the top and just thin stems in general. Oh, we're zooming in chat. Let me catch up, make sure I'm not missing anybody. Zoom and zoom and zoom in. Broke my baby toe five years ago on a door. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I can relate to the air cast. Three months. I was about two months, I would say. Last summer, I twisted my foot, broke my Oh my gosh. With the grandkids watching. Ouch. Broke to muscle and I have pneumonia. I can't pronounce pneumonia. My gosh. Not to concoction, just not safe for work. Okay. <laughs> Oh no, everyone with their broken bones and Bean is just spinning around there. Poppy, welcome in. Everyone just tuned in. What are we painting? You won't believe it. We're painting you. We're painting poppies. <laughs> I think somebody, yep, <laughs> Croaky just answered. We're painting you today. There you go. That's what we're doing. We're doing a step-by-step -step tutorial. But welcome in. Yeah, feel free to hang out and chat. Even if you're not painting, we have lots of people who are just hanging out and having a good time watching. Some are painting along. Our, some are painting along. But yeah, welcome in. Oh, thank you, Hambina. And yep, there's a little information about what's going on right now too. So, you know, poppies. Jackie, hello again. Yes, good to see you too. Are you painting today or just popping in for a hello? Gorgeous, thank you. Obviously this was meant to be, I agree. Tonight's the night for you and me to meet on Twitch. Meant to be. I just used the same lyric three times, it's fine. Do you paint at all, Poppy? You're just like watching some art streams, just bopping around Twitch tonight. So again, you can see I'm bringing these up a little taller and I'm gonna start bringing them down a little lower too, just maybe halfway up, just to start to really fill up this space here. Get it nice and filled. Mm-hmm, just popping in. Okay, Jackie, sounds good. Do you think you'll uh, paint this maybe on a later date? I'm gonna try my best to get it on YouTube before the 11th, but otherwise it will be available here instantly when I'm done. But no worries, I appreciate you popping in, hanging out. Feel free to join the conversation. Everyone's talking about broken bones tonight. <laughs> Have you broken a bone? <laughs> oh man, it's just funny. <laughs> in-depth stories of broken bones all of the above okay cool cool do you paint with acrylics or something else everything is fine <laughs> the flick technique i'm glad it worked for you colleen yeah i find that really helps with the little uh tips and i guess another idea just in case anyone's still struggling with that sometimes if i just can't get it right i'll just put on a stem i'll whip out a tiny brush and just add the little little flicks at the end like i'll take a very small teeny tiny brush and just perfect the ones that I don't like. So you can always do that. Switch brushes if you need to. And switch brushes, brushes in general, again, like not everybody has to love using the largest brush of the set, right? You can use a medium size or a smaller size. All of them will end up working for you if you learn your own way to use them. So see how full this is getting? I'm just adding maybe a couple more of this shade and then we'll start to do the nice dark shade on top. Bit too late to start painting, but I'm looking for inspiration. Yeah, of course, that's okay. So this will stay up for later. So if you want to follow along with this design, you can, Poppy. But yeah, good inspo. I mean, do this on your own time whenever. And I do these tutorials maybe like once to twice a week. So if you ever want to join in on one that you see a design for that you like, you can always check it out, prepare beforehand, and then paint along live. But yeah, always good for inspo too. I'm on Twitch a lot, so if you need some inspo, I'm always whipping out some painting so we can uh, bounce ideas off each other. <clears throat> more likely than uh, more than likely, we'll paint it. No broken bones yet. Okay, that's good to hear. That's good to hear. Nothing happened. Just Aaron's. It's fine. Referred to. Yep, <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> Acrylic, not brave enough for oils. Loving the vibes and tips here. Oh, great! I'm glad you're liking it. Um, same though, same. I love my acrylics. I've tried oils and I still want to keep experimenting with them. They just take a long time in my opinion, at least for me. I'm taking a long time to learn them. But yeah, I think acrylics will always kind of have a special place in my heart. That's what I teach is acrylics, so 
It's what I'm most comfortable with, obviously. And I'm just impatient. I just wanna, I just wanna paint and layer and stuff, so acrylics are nice for that. It's fine, really, it's fine, it's fine. Uh, H-chap, I once had a tumor in my leg, irritated my bones so much, I ended up cracking it. Ouch! I started to remove it and got a metal rod, screws up my hip at the age of 24. Oh my gosh! So brave, my goodness. So strong! Oh wow, yeah, no kidding. Sky, I like all of them. Acrylic, oil, watercolor, gouache. Ooh, I have yet to try gouache. Gouache is something I only learned about through Twitch in the last couple months and I find it so cool. It's like the best of acrylic and watercolor mixed together. I find it so neat. I had no idea it existed before I went on Twitch. Again, within the last couple months, so many people use it. And I was like, what is that beautiful medium? It looks so cool and jelly-like. And I said, gouache. I was like, wow. But yeah, I've yet to try it. I mess around a little with watercolors, but not much. Okay, everybody, I am officially going to move on to my darkest shade here. Darkest shade of gray. I'll show you one more time here. There we go. So my darkest shade, I would say, is right kind of down here. You do have a couple stems that come up a little bit further, but for the most part, they're all very close to the bottom because it's really just to fill up the space a little bit more. So that's mainly what you're doing, a small little flicks, maybe the occasional larger one. So once again, use whatever brush you've been most comfortable with thus far. For me, it's the large flat brush. I'm just mixing a little bit more black into my gray. I would say I'm looking for more of a dark gray now. Officially, we've moved to the dark gray area of the gray scale. Let's see how this looks. And I'm just bracing it up here so I can get from the bottom. Scary balancing act, there we go. I'm gonna make mine a little bit darker. Try this one. Maybe even a little darker than that. I'm just gonna add a little more black to mine. So it's up to you again, how dark, how light you wanna make it. Mine a little bit darker. Doo -doo -doo. Make sure I'm not missing anything. Gouache kind of hate how it gets crumbly when it dries in a palette. Oh, is that what it does? I didn't know that. It always looks so jelly and lovely when I see it in the little palettes. Curious about it too, yeah. Yeah, Wookie, Brusho. <laughs> so perplexing. Brusho is another medium we learned about literally a week ago. Wookie Dog 001 in chat is using Brusho and it's like it's like a super vibrant watercolor. It looks so neat. It looks so neat. Brusho. I just the, the name Brusho just makes me laugh every time. Like it sounds fake, but it's not. I'm using Brusho. It sounds like a like an as seen on TV commercial, you know? Have you tried Brusho? It'll get the stains out instantly. Brusho! The brightest paint there is, brusho. Like gouache too, love watercolor too. I've learned a lot from you, Erin. Okay, I'm so glad. Expensive, it looks fun. Oh, I didn't know the price point of it. Interesting, I didn't know it was expensive. Brusho, <laughs> best name ever. Oh, I know, Todd. Yeah, I'm so, I'm always so impressed with the gouache artists on Twitch. I follow a lot of them just because they're so inspiring. Oh, the greenery they can do. A lot of them stick to like nature type stuff and it just looks so beautiful because it's so vibrant. And that's what gouache is like, you can kind of layer it as well. So unlike watercolor where it's harder to layer, I find anyway, you can really layer because it's still a little bit thicker. So it's really great from what I know. <laughs> Pretty gouache darn, I missed that joke. Very good, Todd, very good. <laughs> I should have known with the little wine sip at the end that there was something in there I was missing. I've done a few oils, but I still prefer acrylics. Mm-hmm, I've been doing some watercolor as well. Want to try gouache? Uh, I just uh, seem to gravitate to acrylics. That's pretty much me, Jackie. I, I keep dipping my hands in a bunch of different things, but I keep finding my way back. I keep finding my, my way back here. It's because I'm most comfortable with it, but I do want to expand my artistic knowledge a little bit, so I'm trying, I'm trying. Welcome to the clown brusho. Yeah, no kidding. It's like a clown name. <laughs> Thank you, Christy. Order now. We'll include a second brusho for free. Just cover shipping and handling. You know how it is. That's right. Absolutely free. You know. You know, little wolf. You know. <laughs> shipping and handling, though. <laughs> the clown name, yep. 
Yes, it is an adorable avocado. You spotted him. I did a bunch of uh, kind of like, I called them cute uwu foods a couple months ago. I did a bunch of desserts. They're not in here, but they're hanging on my wall out uh, in my living room there. Do I have pictures of those somewhere? I don't know. I should take some photos of those and put them somewhere so you can see. But same idea, just like cute little eyes. I put a little happy face on them. They're pretty cute. There's like a little donut and ice cream, a muffin and a pie slice out there. Yeah, there's an avocado. We have bold and brash if you're a fan of SpongeBob. He's sitting right there. Lots to look at. You think watercolor is easier to layer compared to gouache? Really, Sky? I thought it was the opposite. This is speaking from someone who's never used gouache. Just from watching it looked easier to layer. That's very interesting. Just because it's thicker, no? You know, you've used both. I won't question you. That's just what I, I assumed. Hmm, interesting. Six dollar for two rage. Oh yeah, that is a little pricey. Grant these are the prograde's right. <laughs> I don't like clowns, we can't help to think. Same dude, same. It's Russia. It's not that expensive. Well, it can stack up, depending on how many colors you need, Todd. I would say six bucks a tube is not cheap. Acrylics are way cheaper than that, I think, for the value. A gouache tube pack for three uh, pounds, thinking perhaps they're not going to be great. We'll see. I don't know, it's kind of like acrylics. I find if you learn to use them, they can be great. Like, these are not expensive acrylics that I use, and I just kind of make them work. I think they turn out all right. It's all how you learn to use them, right? Look at all these layers. So I'm still adding a little bit more. I still want to darken up the bottom for sure. There we go. Ah, boy, one, two, three, four. If you want to be part of the conversation, feel free to stick around. Yeah, that's all right. <laughs> that's fair. <laughs> there I was, giving it a chance. A friendly painting clown. <laughs> Brusho. <laughs> Please, photos. Do you have an Instagram I could follow? Yes. Oh, thank you. Gray just put the Instagram there. I don't have the uwu desserts on there, but on that Instagram, you'll see all of my past tutorial designs. I should, yeah, I'll try and snap a photo tonight if you want. If you want to join the Discord, Poppy, I'll stick it in the Art Share channel so you can see. We have a Discord you're welcome to pop into. And you can share your own artwork in there. It's a lovely community of uh, sharing and helping and all that, so feel free. Let's get out a couple more over here. It looks like they kind of come down like this, so I want to make sure I'm doing the side justice, adding a few more here. And I'll give a little break and then we'll keep going. Mm-hmm. Thank you, yes. Gosh, is opaque, watercolor is transparent. I see. Comparing it to oils, because the student- Oh yeah, if you want to compare it to oils, oils win. Oils win the expensive game, for sure. Okay, maybe a tiny bit more. I see kind of a blank spot there. Okay. So that helps everybody. I mean, <laughs> I get to look into a screen here so I can see kind of a pulled back version of my painting. If you want to see what your painting is looking like, I always suggest kind of walking back a little bit, just leaning back, take a couple steps back. You can kind of see the whole thing all together, see where some gaps are if you need more stems or anything. That always helps. A couple more just down there. Cool. All right. A bonk, that's a good bonk. <laughs> Boink. Can't unbonk. No, it's fine. <laughs> Can't unbonk if you uh, want to give a chance. You were right. <laughs> you know me. Always want to give chance. <laughs> give a chance, but no, that was good. They followed a little earlier. Escobe324, uh, thanks for the follow earlier as well. Yeah, you're welcome, Poppy. I'm glad you're enjoying. <laughs> There's the tribe. <laughs> oh, man. And this one I would say actually filled up maybe a little bit more than my original. I think I maybe brought these a little taller, just so you can see a little bit of a difference here. But those will be pulled back when we add the poppies on top, so that's just a little comparison of what's going on. From there to there. Yeah, definitely a little more open with the dark ones. But again, that's all up to you. Cool. I'll just give another minute or two if you're still adding some stems. 
because it's probably good to add those stems now rather than later just so you're not really overlapping the poppies as much. So I would add as much as you like now. You can always add a few more later, especially at the bottom, but in terms of kind of the middle top area, you probably want to get that done now. Thanks for the follow, Poppy. All the alerts aren't on, by the way, just because of the uh, tutorial. So I see them, I see them. They're just not popping up all fancy. That's what I have during my usual streams. You are friendly Canadian, you give the benefit of the doubt. I'm a seasoned Twitch mod. <laughs> what has been seen. <laughs> Yeah, I trust your judgment. Ken, you're good at it. Versus I'm like, maybe they didn't mean that rude thing they said. <laughs> maybe that completely out of context statement was an error. <laughs> no, it wasn't. It's a troll. Okay. <laughs> no, it's a good call, Grog. <laughs> Unban them, bring them back. <laughs> no. Okay, so assuming we have all those stems on, I'm just gonna go on to the next step here. So we're not quite creating like the big poppies yet. We're just gonna do some dots. So I'll just once again show you what we have because we kind of had two different things going on. We have some dotted poppies here. So the idea was that those are maybe further back poppies. You know, they're a little bit smaller. So they're just small little dots, right? And then I'll teach you how to do these more like full kind of foreground poppies afterwards. So for now, we're just doing some simple dots, nice and easy. That might have actually been the tamest troll I've seen. You know what their intentions were. No worries, Christy, I'll see you later. Have a good night. All right, so I would recommend using a medium round brush or really any round brush, anything with kind of a tip on it there to get a nice little round dot. I'm just dipping into my red paint, so plain red paint. I haven't added anything to it. And I'm going to try my best to stick to doing these at the tops of my stems, just so it makes it look like, again, they are actually at the tops of stems. If you wanna dot them just kind of randomly as the stems get a little more cluttered though, that's fine as well. They don't all need to be on the exact tip of each stem, you know what I mean? So I'm just really piling the paint on. I like to go either straight at it or maybe at a little bit of an angle just to get a little more surface area touching on the brush. I'm just kind of like pushing on, pushing off. You can maybe swirl a little bit if you want to make it a little bit bigger. But for the most part, I find it's just a matter of using lots of paint, tapping on, again, maybe moving it a bit just to kind of move that surface area around and then coming off like that. I think there's a little bit of black on there. Modding during a Hearts of Iron stream is always fun. What's a Hearts of Iron stream? No worries, Christy. I'll be on by 11 a.m. tomorrow. I think I have more paint on me than the canvas. I can relate. Not really today. My hands are pretty clean. I have a little here. My apron is getting pretty covered, though. I've been wiping on that a lot. Yeah, there's like a little black just stuck in there. What's going on? Come on out. Try again. Maybe it's underneath the red. There we go. But yeah, more often than not, Colleen, I can totally relate to that. Jump in the shower after each painting session. Me too. Very messy. See, everyone relates. You're not alone. We all understand that one. Hearts of Iron is a strategy game in World War II. You can play with Germany. Aha, I see. Okay. I gotcha. Yeah, no worries, Christy. Bye for now. Sign of fun. I think so. Some people are like, you're a real artist when you got paint all over you. I can kind of get that. It means you're kind of letting loose. Exactly. Like you said, having fun. I think. It's a good sign of it. It's not like you need to have it on you, but <laughs> if you do, it's not a bad thing either. Thank you, Maya. What's up? How have you been? Oh, what was your stream title today that I was like, ooh, I want to, um, you're chatting about something. What were you chatting about today, Maya? This mean I'm a fake artist. See, that's what I mean. You're not a fake artist. It's not like you need all the paint all over you, but if you have a little bit, it's like, it's good. It's fun. It's just a great thing. Hey, Maya. Yeah, Maya's back. Kind of the point where I don't get painted myself. See, that's good. That's fine. If you don't have paint, that's okay. It's not a bad thing. Maya, we're just doing a toot right now. So 
I'll see your comment in a quick second. I just want to add a couple more of these. Lots of little dotties. And I'm going to start working my way down, everybody, too. I like to add the little dots, like, halfway down, two-thirds of the way down, like, down here. So really fill up as much as you want. Been really great. Good! We were chatting about relationships. Oh, yeah! That's what it was. I was like, ooh, I want to pop in on that. But I didn't. There's so many streams I want to pop in on. Not enough time in the day. Was that fun? Just doing a like, still a little just chatting stream? Always covered in paint after a tutorial of just messing around. Yep. <laughs> yeah, every time I wipe my brush, I'm like doing it down here on my apron. It's just getting all over my legs. Oof, oof, oof. That's it. It's the blue. There's blue underneath here. I need a new pile. Let's go over here. I was using my plate today, so there's all this half wet paint that keeps surprising me. Maya, what else has been new with you? You're doing great. That's really good to hear. Reading Reddit relationship questions. Oh, fun! Our relationships? My female X age. I'm having trouble with my male X age and their habits. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> Those are fun to read sometimes. Sometimes it's uh, cheating because I'm doing digital art, but still. <laughs> if you get messy during digital art, what are you doing? <laughs> you need help. <laughs> Digital art is real art. It sure is. We were just talking about getting messy while doing art. It's like, how do you get messy with digital? I loved it. Lots of great insight. Cool. Aw. I hope you do that again. I'll watch out uh, and try, try and join in on that. I love little relationship talks on Twitch. They're fun. That's a good idea. Just popping onto Reddit, seeing what's up there. There's always a lot of good questions on there. And I assume it like incites your opinions and stuff you all chat about. It's a lot of fun. Cool. But I'm glad your week's been going well. I feel like it's been a little bit of a down week for a lot of us, but I'm really glad to hear it hasn't been for you. Worried if you got dirty while doing digital art, right? It's like, what happened here? Gertie, what's up? Doesn't even sound right. I can imagine what would happen. I don't either. Okay, I think I have enough dots. Maybe I'll add one little guy here. Just give everyone a chance to add a few more if they want, and then I'll teach you about the actual poppies, the nice blooming poppies. Including the dining table? For what, Harley? Getting messy? <laughs> if you get messy while eating, you're just having fun. You're a professional eater. You're a real eater now. Ewok, nice to see you. Hello, what are you up to? It's a Friday night. Off work, all done for the week. How's it going? I sold art this week, so that was really nice. Cool, great distraction uh, from this nightmare week. You got it. Mm -hmm. How have you been? It's been okay. Yeah, the nightmare week has really been hitting me. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But today's been good, Maya, thanks. Again, I'm glad you saw some light in your week. I just found it hard to concentrate this week on art. Like, usually I can paint and be pretty distracted, but this time, no. <laughs> but today I'm good. Yeah. Sold art. That's really exciting. Nice gouache piece. Nightmare week has been hitting can- Oh, it hits everywhere. Yeah, hits everywhere. We all care. We all care. Oh, yeah. Yep. I'm unfortunately ill. Negative for COVID. Okay, but I was exposed last weekend. Okay, I'm just chilling. I'm glad you're negative officially. That's uh, it's obviously immediately what I thought because I know you said you had stuff at work going on. Um, wow, just chilling. Okay, that's good. That's good. Taking a nice, easy, easy day, easy few days. All right. Uh, good to hear you, Walk. Just literally chilling, <laughs> doing nothing. That's probably good. Drinking your liquids and stuff. Oh, deaf. Yeah, hugs. Aaron just lost my job this week. Oh, Charlene, I'm so sorry. Oh no. It's been rough for a lot of people, Charlene. Oh, I'm so sorry. Now I understand. You said you're having a rough time. Oh, we're all here for each other, Charlene. If you need to vent or anything, that's what we're here for. We can all chat about it or just forget about it, whatever you like. Oh, wow, Aaron didn't realize others were effectively us. Good to know. Oh my gosh, yes. Oh, yes. Yes. I mean, I don't want to get too heavily into it because it's kind of depressing. But yeah, it's like... It means a lot what's going on in America, and also we just care. <laughs> like, I know I just care about what you're all feeling. That's more my issue, is like, I'm thinking too much about how everyone else is affected and how they're feeling. Even though I can't change anything, it's like, I want to. So it makes me really sad when other people are sad or being negatively affected. So it's a yeah, whole thing. But I think in the end, too, it's more just, yeah, we're all just watching and concerned as well. 
And it does affect everybody in the end, yeah. We all care. Uh, no bad news than I expected. Hope you guys are doing okay. Mm hmm Can't really even game, which is sad. Okay, but I got a switch right before getting sick and I've been having fun with that. What have you been playing? Let's add each other on Switch. Maybe we have some common games. I have lots of people in the US I love, plus policy stuff in the US has far-reaching consequences around the world. That's it. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much. Hugs. Hugs for all of you. Seeing what happens in the US consequences uh, in the Philippines where my husband is from. There you go. Yeah, it's everywhere. Anyway, we all care. There was a little meme going around a few days ago about a uh, emotional support Canadian. That can be me if you need it. <laughs> Even though I need some support too, apparently. <laughs> but we can all support each other. <laughs> Anyway, uh, let's go on to the next step. <laughs> I'll keep chatting. It's okay. You guys keep chatting. I'm just going to make sure we're staying on the tutorial vibes here too. So let's have a look. So I've got all my little dotties on and we're going to go on to some more like blooming poppies. So I'm going to zoom in just so you can, well, just push this forward. You can see what's going on here. Um, generally, you know, poppies have their four Four petals. I almost lost the words there. I was going to say four leaves. Four petals. But you can see they're kind of, they're not really defined. It's not like there's a big loop, a big loop. They're all kind of like shaky a little bit. There are some that are a little more like looking at them from the side rather than full on. So you get kind of this like one big petal and maybe like lumpy petals over here. So just kind of uh, don't worry too much about making it super, super clean. You know, you're not doing one loop, one loop, one loop or doing points at the ends. They're really just kind of like wavy just generally four petals. If you don't see four petals everywhere, that's okay. But I'm gonna teach you kind of two ways to do it. Again, we have kind of these straight on facing ones and then more from the side, kind of like peeking into the middle. Oops, so sorry. <laughs> I see chat zoom in there all uh, in a quick second there. So I'm just gonna use the medium round brush. Thank you, sweet peas for the follow. Grabbing more red paint, just plain red, nothing to it. Just adding lots of red to the brush choosing a stem. Maybe I'll choose this stem. It's nice and high up. You can see exactly what I'm doing. And again, roughly, roughly doing four petals. Just kind of taking the tip of my brush, going kind of in and out, in and out, very messy, in and out. So you can see we have kind of four petals. That's even pretty clean. I would say it's a clean four petals. I'm going to purposely mess it up because I like it a little messier. All right, that's a little better. So roughly one, two, three, four. They're all a little bit different though. This one has kind of a wavy edge. This one's more round, this one's wider. That's personally the look I like. I think it makes it look a little more natural just to have it a little more, again, kind of shaky all over the place in terms of each petal. I'll do another one. So kind of like choosing a center going in and out or out and in rather, out and in, out and in. Let's maybe close that up a bit more. Again, that's kind of a wider one. Maybe let's make it a little further down there. And there you go. All the petals are just a little bit different. They're all centering around where the stem is there. Yeah. So I'm gonna keep adding a few of those. I'm gonna catch up, catch up on chat as I do it, but just add a few more of those open face ones, then I'll teach you about the side view ones. Everyone cares that's watching. Start Canadian support buddies. Yes, that's the one. Pikmin 3. Oh, I want it. Smash. I have it. Zelda. I don't have it. We could smash together if you want. If you need a gaming buddy, it's. I know you just said you're sick, but anytime, let me know. I was hired without accounting experience and they still hired me. Let me go after two and a half weeks. Oh, that's rough, Charlene. I'm sorry. Well, it wasn't meant to be. I'm sure something else will come your way. Oh, did we know this, Maya? I forget if you talked to Gray about this, that uh, you had the Philippines connection a little bit there. That's cool. Anvish, hello, welcome in. How's it going? Emotional support group, yep. Oh, thanks guys. But again, I can be your emotional support Canadian. I don't know if you guys know the meme that I'm talking about. It was a tweet that went around. Emotional support Canadians will be assigned to you. I immediately got messages from everyone. <laughs> You're Canadian, right? <laughs> I was like, yep. <laughs> I will be yours. <laughs> anyway. Yeah, that's more what it is. Just being, everyone being uh, good support systems right now, so. It's all good, it's all good. Emotional support tacos. Yes, that's what Anna makes. There's mine right there. Now he's all of yours, there you go. He's supporting everybody with this happy little face. 
And then once again, just like with the dots, everybody, you can really add uh, the poppies wherever you want the further down you go. You don't really need to look for a tip as long as you're putting them in a cluster. That's okay. No one's going to call you out for that. No one's going to view your painting and be like, um, is that connected to anything? Yes, it is. <laughs> you have some blackberry flavored TV stack. <laughs> what are you talking about? You said this before, dude, with the TV stack, and I don't know if I ever got your answer with the... <laughs> what the heck that was. I was like, do you open up the bag? It goes... <laughs> yum yum TV stack. <laughs> Thumbs up. Mm-hmm. Got the smash too. There you go. Double thumbs up. Sandra, right? <laughs> we kind of do need her though. <laughs> We're playing marbles tomorrow. Maybe if we meet our fundraising goal tomorrow, we might have a Sandra marble. We shall see. LaCroix? Static. Oh, it's Seltzer. Okay. I forget if you answered that maybe today, but I did not see the answer. TV static. Blackberry, yum. Smirnoff brand. Oh, Smirnoff has seltzer? Like non-alcoholic? That's interesting. Or is it alcoholic? To me, when you say seltzer, it just means plain seltzer, but maybe I'm wrong. By the way, everybody, my red paint is a tiny bit transparent, so if anyone's seeing that as well, it's not you, it's the paint. <laughs> I just have, um, I use academic acrylic, which is a little bit, uh, lower quality brand, so you might get a little bit of transparency. I just try my best to really cake the paint on. Um, if you really want to, oh yes, of course, Chaz, of course you're welcome to watch. If you really want to uh, cover up those grays, if you really don't like seeing anything through, I find mixing the tiniest amount of white really helps. Um, even though it might turn it like a tad pink, the white will help kind of counteract the grays, so you can kind of put it on a little bit cleaner. Alternatively, and I did do this in this painting, you can do a second layer on top of certain areas. So I'm actually gonna go and do a second layer of red later on. So just kind of keep that in mind too that you have that option as well. But yeah, Chaz, that's no worries at all. Um, some people are following along, but others are just here chatting, having a good time, learning as they go, or just literally here to chat and that's cool too. And that's what I'll do too. I kind of teach and chat at the same time. So welcome in, welcome in, hope you enjoy. If you paint it all, let us know. Otherwise, just feel free to pop into the chat whenever you're ready. You're already here. Thanks for caring. I wanted to come here for some positives. Yep, that's what I did to Charlene today. This week in general. Almost skipped a day and then said, nah. It's better that I stay online because it always makes me feel better. 8%, gotcha. They're just really thin petals. Exactly. They're nice and just delicate, transparent. That's what I like too, Ewok. I agree. Most flower petals are a bit transparent. Phoenix has got it too. Feel like my flowers are not the right size. Too big or too small, Allie? If they're too small, just you can kind of go like this. Watch, you can kind of extend each one a little bit just on the edges. See how it looks. Decide if you want more. It's easier to make it bigger. If you want them smaller, you might have to just stop, let them dry, put some white around it or some gray, kind of fill them up a little bit more with the background color. Aww. <laughs> That's nice, Phoenix. There's no such thing as the wrong size. Or the right size, rather. They seem small. Yeah, yeah. So I'll do again here. Uh, this one's maybe small. But yeah, honestly, Phoenix is right. You can have lots of different sizes. If you want them bigger, though, just kind of move your brush a little further out along each petal. You've already got the shape you want. Just move it along. Kind of like rotating around the edge again, and you got a little bit of a bigger poppy. There you go. I just kind of push the, uh, the brush out a little bit more each time. Mm-hmm. Okay, I'm gonna pour more red. Then we'll do some side view poppies. I think I've got enough front facing ones here. <laughs> That's so sweet though, Phoenix. There's no such thing as the right size or the wrong size. It's true though. And I do like a variety of like small, medium ones. The small ones, I guess, the, are the dots. I'll do some medium like side view ones, then the larger ones I keep open face. So. <clears throat> Taking a break and drinking tea. No worries, Phoenix. Sounds good. I should have a drink too. Go out on a limb. That's where the fruit is. Thanks, Bob. 
I like this painting. I think I'm doing it tomorrow. It's a nice one. I really like how... I think it's maybe like a little more of a simpler one, not to say it's like easy necessarily for everybody, but you can see less steps Ks, like it's just kind of like repeated steps over and over. And I think it adds a nice punch considering we only did three colors. Well, if you want to count all the different grays, but black, white, red, it, it allows the poppies to really pop off. It's kind of more of a statement one rather than too much going on, you know? So I think it says a lot without uh, having too much going on. It's a calm scene, kind of therapeutic. Yeah, I think so too. November 11th means much. Exactly, Chaz. That's why I did this early, because I wanted to give people time either to do it live with me or if they want to check it out on YouTube or hereafter. They can do it this weekend if they want. You got it, yeah. I know it means a lot to a lot of people, including me, so nice to commemorate with that a little bit, you know? Yeah, technically, yeah. I mean, it can be symbolic, but you can just have it up year-round as well, because again, it's a very simple simple kind of piece in terms of not too much going on, not too cluttered. So lots of, lots of pluses. Okay. I'm going to do some, what I call side view poppies now. So I'll show you here. These are the ones that you're not really looking at full, full on like front forward, I guess, front facing. It's more like these ones. So what I've done, this one, this one is I kind of concentrate on doing one larger petal, kind of like wider in the background. And then I do kind of what appears to be one longer petal in the foreground, but it's kind of like a bunch of petals little kind of smooshed together. So again, one or two in the background, I kind of stick to one kind of like tall and wide and then just long and wide in the front. And then what I'll do is I'll tuck a little black dot kind of closer to the middle, but not a full black dot. So it makes it look like it's kind of poking out, right? It kind of pokes out. Mm-hmm. Okay, so let's... Uh Let's show you here. Choose anywhere you want. Again, choose a stem or just choose a cluttered area. Maybe I'll go right here. So I kind of think of it as one big petal to start. So if this is my middle, I'm just going one big petal like this. Grab a little more red. And then I'll kind of do a long petal like this. So it makes it look like either one petal or a couple petals are in the foreground kind of going on top. I know it's a little hard to see because you are overlapping but just kind of look at the sides here. See how it elongates on the sides. Makes it look like the petals are coming forward at you. So they're not gonna be tall, they're gonna be long this way, coming at you. I'll do it again. And it might not look like much now. It's when you add the black dot that you really see it in my opinion. So don't judge it too quickly. Just put on a few of these. We can put the middles on, then you can judge it and see how it looks. So one kind of taller petal, just a normal petal I would call it. And then in the foreground, a longer one. It goes kind of like to the side like that. I'm really piling on the red because I'm getting in a dark area here. Hopefully that makes sense. If anyone needs clarification, let me know. I'll try and explain it maybe differently, but that's how I'm sticking to it now. One big petal, nice long one in front. And again, it'll look kind of bloppy. When we put the black there, though, it'll show that this petal's in front, that one's in the back. I'm just going to keep filling up. And uh, <clears throat> it's these side ones that I like to do kind of medium-sized ones as well. So I'll do a couple that are a lot smaller, just to make it just kind of alter with all the different uh, sizes of poppies. So we were talking about sizes before. Do lots of different sizes. Variety is good. Again, shaky, nice and shaky. I really don't worry about getting things like perfectly smooth, perfectly round. I think the shakiness works with this one. This comes before Christmas. Mm-hmm. Might take mine to work. Oh, that's nice. Um, is it equivalent to Memorial Day? We discussed this and I forget what the answer was. I think the answer is no. I'm not sure. What day is your Memorial Day? Like we saw what we do on the 11th when the war ended. Guy I grew up with his military friend of mine, honorably discharged. Yes. Oh, so, okay. Phoenix says yes. In honor of my grandpa. That would be nice, Chaz. How he's in the military, 18 years in. He's going to love this. Oh, Colleen, that's sweet. Mm-hmm. Oh, see, again, everyone has a story. Everyone has some sort of uh, meaning to this, and that's good. I'm glad I did this for that reason. Comparable to Veterans Day. Right. I think that's what we figured out. Yeah. Yeah, I think it's closer to Veterans Day. Yeah, 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 yeah. Cool. Good. 
we learning? Let's do some maybe down here. I'll do a smaller one. Forgot the poppies were symbolic. All the feels. Oh, you did. Oh, it's okay, Gertie. Now you remember. It's good. Yeah, very symbolic. We wear our poppies around most of the start of November, really. I usually see them coming out right around Halloween. On our coats and sweaters and stuff. Remember today, do you remember the fallen or celebrate veterans? I would say both. I know it's more so remembering the end of the war on the 11th day, 11th hour, etc. But I would say it's for both. Mm-hmm. I wouldn't say we exclude either. I remember celebrating something called a R.E.D. something or other, and it stood for Remembers Everyone Deployed. Okay, interesting. Yeah, of course, Kays. Yeah, I would say it's both. It's just remembering all. Because, yeah, we, uh, we acknowledge those currently serving as well. And Carbon Mem Memorial Days become symbolic start of summer in the US. The symbolic start of summer. Really? Really? Huh. I didn't know that. So if you're ever at a point, everybody, where you're like, I don't know if I need to add more, don't add more. <laughs> Just stop. <laughs> uh, it's very easy to add too much. You know, sometimes people add a little bit too much and they're like, oh, I wish I could erase or whatnot. It's easier to just stop now. We can put centers on the poppies. You can see how it looks and then you can add more. It's a lot easier to do that rather than go backwards. So if you're kind of having that question right now, you can just give it a little rest. Maybe add a couple more dots if you want, see if it fills up the way you're looking to, you know, instead of adding more big poppies. In the end, it's your painting. You do what you want, but just to make sure you're getting what you want, just go nice and slow. There's no rush. Maybe I'll do one more up here. Well, no. Well, let's go here. Yeah. Big petal, long petal. See how shaky it is. Like, you can even, like, hold the brush a little looser just to really promote the shakiness. I think they look better a little shakier. UK, we have Remembrance Day of Remembering and Armed Forces Day. Okay, interesting. Veterans Day is our Victoria Day. Okay, right, right, because we're middle of uh, May for that one. Pools open on Memorial Day weekend, close after Labor Day. Interested. I do what I want. <laughs> yeah, that. All right, you guys got it figured out. Okay, so yeah, on that note, I'll start to add some black centers just to kind of show you how they look with the black centers. That is a very easy step, but um, especially for the side, uh, the side view poppies you'll want to see how that's added. And again, you're welcome to add them with me or if you're still adding some red poppies, you can keep going. So I'm gonna switch now to a teeny tiny brush. Little teeny tiny guy. And once again, the middles I would describe as just kind of like shaky, blobby. They're not perfect circles at all. There's nothing uh, specific to them. Inky stick, thanks for the follow earlier. I didn't see the alert just cause we're doing a tutorial, but welcome in. So yeah, have a look at just how, again, blobby, kind of randomized those are. You know, nothing fancy shape-wise. There you go. So I, once again, just take a small little brush, some black paint, kind of load her up and kind of blob it on. So I'll start with the open face poppies. You're just going right in the middle, kind of wiggling your brush around, creating somewhat of a blob. Maybe it has a few little notches or points on the blob. That's okay. Show you a couple there. So those are open face poppies. So we got a nice full center there. go. I'm just going to keep doing the center, the full ones for now. Uh, Lori, second coat of red before the centers. On mine, Lori, I did the centers and then I went back and I kind of looked around specifically, specifically for ones that needed second coats. You could do a second coat now if you wanted. There's no harm in it. Um, but when I was doing my original, I just went ahead and did the black centers. It allowed the red to dry a little bit longer too. It kind of kept myself busy as I was waiting for it to dry. 
because um, if you do a second coat of red while the red is still wet, it's not really going to do its job properly. So I think you could pretty easily do the centers and then just kind of blob on red around the centers if you need a second coat. Yeah. Lori, hi! We were just thinking about you today. Talking about you. I want to say talking about you, but it's not like we're talking about you, you know? <laughs> we were talking about teachers and schools and I said, oh, we haven't seen Lori in a bit. I hope she's okay. Just kind of saying hearts out to the teachers type thing. How have you been? How have you been? Yeah, we were just talking a little bit about the kind of teacher-student situation. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Nothing like, we were talking about you. But yeah, we were. <laughs> mm -hmm. Ottawa, see? Everyone's like, aha! Tackles, there you go. But yeah, I hope your week has been well. If you want to tell us a bit about it, feel free. Otherwise, enjoy the painting vibes. We're just kind of finishing up our poppy paint. We have a couple steps to go, but... Okay, I think I've got... Yeah, I've got all my full face ones done. So I'm going to do my side view ones now. So again, the side views... Instead of going right in the middle and doing like a nice big blob, I kind of try and move it a little bit further up and just do it on the top area. So it's like we're chopping the center in half. We're not touching the bottom part. We're just kind of doing the top part. The green bean, thank you for the follow. The alerts are off, just do the tutorial, but welcome in, hello. So yeah, theoretically, like we have this foreground petal kind of cutting across, right? So we just want the black kind of peeking up above it. So for example, for this one, just gonna go right around here, just do a smaller blob. And then it makes it look like it's just peeking up and over. So it's like this petal comes across and the black just peeks up and over. So we're kind of seeing inside of it, but not really. And that's what you do to each of the side views. Oh, what's going on? Progress report time was my birthday yesterday. Oh, that's why. Happy birthday, Lori. It's all good talks. Yes, exactly. Love the pink. Thank you, Lori. <laughs> happy birth, happy birthday. Yay. Everyone's wishing happy birthdays. Look at all those emotes. My gosh, the wall, the wall. I'll give you a quick little hype for your birthday. Yesterday, huh? Did you do anything fun or exciting? Maybe just a more relaxing day, maybe, I hope. Maybe something this weekend. Happy birthday, yes. So I'm just adding the middles to each of those now, everybody. So just kind of, again, watching the edge, pulling it across, pretending that petal's on top, and then using the black above it. And in theory, you could even leave a few completely blank, especially those medium-sized ones, the smaller ones. Sometimes I just don't put a center there. I kind of imagine the petals are completely covering the center. So don't feel pressure to add to everyone. You can just add a small dot or a medium size or nothing at all. I painted a poppy painting yesterday with some of the uh, special ed students. I'll post some pictures later. Please do, yes. School paint brushes are crappy. Oh no, not like good brushes or acrylic. Oh, I'm sure it was still a fun time though. Yeah, I'd love to see photos. I'm sure everyone would. Yes, all the birthday wishes. Nothing exciting. Dinner tomorrow with my sister and family. That's nice still, that's nice. Good family time, relaxing time. That's what I'm more into these days for like celebrations, birthdays, just like relax. <laughs> just like freedom for the day. <laughs> it's all good. A nice dinner with family, exactly. I'd be into it. Or painting, that's what I did for my birthday this year. I painted with everybody, that was nice. It was fun and relaxing for me. Okay, I think I hit all of them, yep. Cool. I'll give another minute in case anyone's adding. And yeah, so that was a good question earlier. Um, asking about uh, the second layer. So the second layer of red again, you can really do that at any time. You could have done that before the black. You could do that um, now that the black is on. Uh, but just in the end, really the main thing you're looking for is that the red is dry. You don't want to be adding your second coat when the red is still wet. It won't really do its job. It'll just kind of lay on top and kind of blob up a little too much. Mm-hmm. We will be using this brush again, so if you are ready, you could wash it off. I'm just giving an extra half minute or so if anyone's still adding. Because so we got another element to add still. Something kind of last minute that I added to the painting, actually. I thought I was done with this when I was uh, designing. And I wanted just a little something extra. Ooh, ooh, there we 
go. Just to remind you, we got some of these little, little sparklies down here. Little fireflies, little highlights, whatever you want to think of them as. So if my paint is thin and the canvas shows through, adding a second layer is good, but I have to wait for the paint to dry first. Yes. <laughs> yes, it's a little bit of a patience thing, especially because if you were doing like I did, you probably blobbed on the paint a lot. So it might take a, a few extra minutes to dry. I can see a lot of mine is drying. There's just kind of like some big blobby bits that haven't dried yet. Um, so you might need to give it a couple extra minutes. Yeah, that'll definitely help a second coat. Um, alternative gray, you can add a little bit of white to your red. It does make it a tiny bit pink, but it shouldn't be pink enough that you're like, oh, those are pink poppies. It just makes it like a little less red. So you could add a little white and see how that goes too. My internet sucks tonight. Oh, I'm sorry, Tina. I hope it gets better. Little sprinkles make it so wistful magical. Thank you. I want to be there. Me too. Gertie, I want to be in the painting I made today. Oh my goodness. Everyone did. They're all like, just transport us. And I was like, okay. But yeah, I want to be in the nice colorful galaxy. Different planet, you know? But yeah, we can transport you here, here. Go on the field. Wee! There you are. You're here. Beep. All right, I'm gonna add my little, yeah, whimsical, wistful, little whatever you want to call them, fireflies, beams of light, bubbles, anything like that. So I'm just gonna use the same brush. It's a nice teeny tiny brush. Wee! A little bit of white on the brush, just a teeny bit of white. We don't want to blob it on this time. We're just using small amounts. So it's on the very tip of the brush. I'm just gonna choose a spot. I kind of went in the bottom area here, anywhere kind of below the poppies, maybe a little bit into them, but not quite. I'm going to make a little white dot. If you have any remaining paint on your brush, you can either make a second white dot or wipe it off or make a third white dot, whatever. I'm trying to remove the bulk of the paint from my brush. So I've done three dots, for example. And then what I'm doing, once the brush doesn't have any, well, it has a tiny bit. You can see it's a little bit white on there, but it's no blobs of paint. Once it has barely any paint left, then what I do is I swirl around and it comes off nice and soft just because there's less paint on the brush. So you're left with a nice bright center and more of a dry brush outside, more of like a transparent outside. Looks kind of dry, scraped on. So again, a nice blob of white in the center, rotating around. You can even kind of dip your brush into the center just to grab a tiny bit of paint and kind of rotate it around. Just if you run out of paint, for example. So that one came off super soft because there was barely any on there, but that's the basic technique. They're just leaving a nice blob in the center, softness around the edge. When I'm painting at home, I tend to keep the hairdryer nearby because I'm not very patient. Yeah, it's not often that I need that, but sometimes I wish I had it. I just never really bring it in here, but sometimes I'm close to getting it for sure. Especially if I'm covering something up, that's more of my issue, Poppy. It's like, if I want to put a white layer over something and I'm just waiting for it to dry to correct something, it's like, just blow dry it. Oh my gosh. So again, just small amounts of white. I do two or three dots at a time and swirl, swirl, swirl. Let's do the third here. Yeah, I really like this addition. It was a last minute one. I just kind of Filled up the bottom a little bit more, made it a little more fluttery, a little more whimsical. Mm-hmm. As much as you like. Whee! This painting is made for you. Yeah, I know. Poppy came in and was like, what are we painting today? We were like, we're painting you. <laughs> it's you. We knew you are here tonight. I like that sweet too. I know. Yeah, I love this technique, Kay. It's just... Sometimes I feel like I've added it probably in three or four paintings now just because just as a final thing either fireflies or sparkly bits It's just so nice and easy too. I find it's just adding a little dot swirling around And it's up to you too like if you use more paint if you don't want it as transparent you can make it quite literally a swirl if you want I like it more just kind of like a loose glow but the more paint you add, the more, you can see that one was a little brighter. You can see a few more of the lines distinctly. That looks nice too though. Mm-hmm. White swirls could be like dandelions with the flower from military. Really? Oh, there you go. Meant to be. That's really nice. Thank you, Colleen. So yeah, you might want to bring some a little further up, but I try and keep them a little lower. 
wherever you want to fill space though, really. And I mean, they'll show up better in the darker spots too, right? You can see they get a little more lost up here. So down here is a little better. Miller Gerald. Oh yeah, I understood children. Mm -hmm. Yay, Poppy. I'm so glad too. It's always so lovely seeing some new, new names in here. I want to say faces, but I don't know your faces. So new names. <laughs> Yeah, despite only doing these once or twice a week, the tutorials, I'm on Twitch a lot, so... Maybe we'll see you on another stream, just a nice random painting stream. I'm doing a 12-hour stream tomorrow. <laughs> You'll see me tomorrow if you're on Twitch at all tomorrow, my gosh. 11 to 11, baby! Raising money for charity, so feel free to pop in. That's cool, Colleen, I like that. Yeah, yeah, again, it's like it was meant to be. I just thought of it as a nice little small addition, but there's some meaning to it, and that's really nice. You can make it symbolic to you as well, you know? Like a certain specific number of them or something. Yeah. Lots of ideas. I love when people make little customizations like that, especially when it's very meaningful to them or it's symbolic. Very nice. I'm gonna add maybe a couple more. There we go. The question is, is that enough though? <laughs> Still adding. <laughs> Do one more like here. Yeah. Where did I tap there? I missed it. There it is. There it is. Okay, cool. Nice. That's about, yeah, it's about the same number ish. Okay. So technically, everyone, that's the last step. I'm just going to go ahead and maybe add another layer to some of my poppies here. Just to kind of showcase that it's it's you know nothing different than what we've already learned but just kind of taking the medium sized brush kind of piling on wherever you want and it will add more texture i was kind of saying this when i was creating the painting uh earlier this week i really liked how piling the paint on more added even more texture you know especially to the foreground you know you can see it makes it look like the petal is really sticking out at you you get the little ridges and everything so you know, even if it's not for transparency reasons, you might consider it just for texture reasons. Love that texture. See that difference? It just brightens it up a little bit more. Really piling it on. I just like scoop the paint on, just lay it right on top. And as long as your black is dry, that means you can be nice and messy with it, right? You don't really need to worry about it hitting the black. If it goes on top, it'll just cover up a little bit, but it won't mix or anything, as long as it's dry. If it's not dry, it will mix, as we just saw. <laughs> so be careful if it's still wet. I could play with it all day, so I'm gonna I'm gonna just chill there. <laughs> mm, ouch! Not an ouch. <laughs> it didn't hurt. I just slammed my <laughs> wrist into the paint. It's not an ouch. It's an ah. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> isn't there a texture command? There is. You got it. Texture. That's some texture. Nice, Aaron. I'll try and pop in tomorrow. Have a good night. Oh, hugs again. Yeah, hugs to you. I'll look for you tomorrow. Yeah, 11 a.m. EST to 11 p.m. <laughs> Long time. <laughs> it could have hurt. I don't know why I said ouch. It didn't hurt. <laughs> Ow, the paint. <laughs> it's just more of a surprise element. <laughs> Oopsie, you know? <laughs> ouch. <laughs> um, right, so yeah, that's the final step. So I always say at the final step, there's a bonus step. You can sign your painting. I'm going to do that now. And that solidifies it. I'm all done because I signed it. I'm going to keep it white or like a gray just to help hide it a little bit. It could have hurt. Yeah, it could have. All right, so let's do a little comparison. We can see two paintings side by side. These ones are going to be pretty similar. Hide my face for a sec. Right, pretty, pretty close. Maybe a little more poppies in this one, from what I see anyway. 
There you go. Okay. So before you guys disappear, um, if you want to post any photos of your paintings, I'll invite you to do that either now or whenever you're done, whenever you have some time. Uh, if you prefer Facebook to post your photos, I'm just going to open up the Facebook event page right now. So the event page where you likely found this event from, it's an actual event page on Facebook. I'm just going to open up posting for everybody and then you can post your lovely photos in there. Now it's open, perfect. If you prefer Discord, you can do that as well. There's a nice art share channel. I'm gonna put all the social links there. If the bot works, hello. You can do it, bot, wake up. Come on, come on, come on. Let's try it again. There they are. <laughs> Thanks, Grokey. <laughs> it didn't work the first time, that's all right. There's all the links there. Again, Facebook is a good one. Discord to post your photos. Uh, if you want to see this tutorial, uh, maybe you weren't following along, but you want to do it later, it will be available on Twitch right after I end off here. Otherwise, I hope to upload it to YouTube by uh, the 11th. I think it's a Wednesday or Thursday, so keep your eye out on the YouTube page there. Subscribe to that if you want. That's where I post all the tutorials eventually, so you'll be notified when I post. Um, if you're looking for another tutorial, I'll show off that painting real quick as well, because I just completed it today. We'll be doing this uh, galactic, galactic painting here. Nice escape from the world. Uh, we'll do that on Friday. So Friday, 8 p.m. EST. So same time as tonight, just next week. I'll be teaching you step by step how to do this one. And I promise, I know this looks complicated. It's just watercolors. It's just watered down paint kind of splotched on all together. I can tell you a nice order of colors to keep it a little cleaner, but it's just nice and fun just splotching it all on. We do some paint flicking. Got these like kind of big structures in here. Again, it's kind of like out of this world type stuff. So who, who the heck knows what's going on here? Is it ice? Is it ground? I don't know. Nice little road going off to nowhere. Anyway, kind of a different vibe of a painting, but I hope you like it. We'll do that on Friday. Uh, and otherwise, just keep your eye on all the socials for lots of updates. If you want to see me before Friday, I'll be on Twitch a lot especially tomorrow. I have a 12 hour stream that I plan tomorrow. Lots of different activities I'll be painting. I'll be doing some games, uh, doing like giveaway type stuff, maybe if we hit a donation goal. So to be clear, the 12 hour stream is uh, in support of Sick Kids Hospital. So it's like a charity stream. Uh, so if we hit the goals for the day, I'll be doing some giveaways at the end. So hope to see you there. Maybe just sometime this week, I'll be posting my schedule up tomorrow for the following week. There you go.